What's up guys? This past weekend, Tweez took the Madden world by storm with his innovative strong close attack on the offensive side of the ball. In this video, we are going to look at how he escaped an overtime thriller with the win in his matchup against Chaos. Tweez starts off the first possession of overtime with a bang, calling the halfback off tackle out of the strong close formation where he goes off for a 36 yard gain that puts himself on the cusp of field goal range. Looking back, there were a couple of key factors that played a part in the play's success. The first thing to notice is the type of defense Chaos is in. On this play, and throughout the game, he had been running Tampa 2 out of the 4-3 normal formation. The two main adjustments he would make would be to spy the left side defensive tackle and, most importantly on this play, he would assign the middle linebacker to play a deep third zone in the middle of the field. As you can see, while the play is developing, the linebacker begins backpedaling at the snap of the ball. This prevents him from playing aggressively underneath like the other two outside linebackers, and thus he is not around to either potentially shoot a gap and make a play on the ball carrier, or at least scrape to the outside and funnel the run back inside where help will be waiting. His deep drop allows for a nice pursuit angle, but it also allows Bo Jackson to easily mark him in the open field and throw a block. The other key factor is Chaos's user defender. At the snap of the ball, he gets caught trying to reposition his free safety. He clicks off and gets stuck on the backside defensive tackle, completely nullifying his impact on the play. In most cases, he had been usering the weak side linebacker who ends up getting blocked by the backside receiver. Had he been on the linebacker at the snap, he would have had a much better chance of containing the run to a modest gain. A few plays later, Tweez goes to a play which proved to be reliable for him and stutter goes. It's a 5 man route from Tweez and Chaos's defense shows its form. Once again, it's Tampa 2 with the same setup except now he is using the right outside linebacker. Since Chaos was dropping his middle linebacker deep, it became Chaos's responsibility for the short and intermediate middle part of the field. On the right, Tweez's receiver is perfectly bracketed by the outside cloud flat and the interior vertical hook. Over the middle, Bo Jackson is surrounded by the linebacker and safety over the top along with Chaos's user underneath. But a look at the left side of the field reveals the hole. Because Chaos had to respect the middle of the field with his user, he pulled him away from his original zone assignment that would have resulted in him bracketing the X receiver just like you see on the right. This opened up a window for a passing lane inside of the outside cornerback, yet right in front of the deep safety. Chaos's defender cannot make it over in time, and it results in a first down for Tweez. Two plays later, Tweez goes back to the well to seal the deal. Chaos runs an identical setup on defense, but this time knows that the inside pass lead to the X receiver is a possibility and opts to cover it with his user. With both outside routes bracketed, Tweez goes for a low pass lead to Bo Jackson in the end zone. Now at first glance, this may look covered, but with inside and underneath positioning on Ronnie Lott, his main concern is the middle linebacker, who in this case is 76 overall Duke Riley. Despite being in solid position to make a play on the ball, Riley's 70 awareness and 70 zone coverage exposes him on the most crucial play of the game. Bo Jackson holds on to the pass despite getting hit by Ronnie Lott, stealing the game for Tweez. Be sure to subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. You won't want to miss the next one. As always, thank you so much for watching guys, and until next time, take it easy.